You're just in time for a test of the emergency brass system. What? Seriously, acoustic chamber music in general, including acoustic brass music, is limping all over the place. You can see this in the stats. Look at concert halls all over the place. There's hardly anybody in them. People are bored of hearing the same old music being played in the same old way. Hi, I'm Lydia Bustler Blaze, and if you don't know about me, I am a horn performing artist, soloist, chamber musician with the Heritage Brass, and an improvisational artist and composer. You can find out more about me at Siegfried's Call, where I have an artist page, along with some of the girls in Genghis Barbie and some of the former artists in the Canadian Brass. You can also look me up at www.bobolid.com. We'd love it if you'd become a fan of the Heritage Brass on our Facebook page. My buddy and I, trumpeter Jim Bocha from the Heritage Brass, have been talking about how much we would like to go to a lot of the schools and universities and show kids and young adults how much fun that brass music can be. Lots of new brass music and how much fun it can be to play and how beautiful. You know, we say we play music. That's because it's supposed to be fun. Wouldn't it be great if we could hear and play all sorts of fun new music and it wasn't thought of as weird or difficult to get brass players together, but just as normal as string quartets and garage bands that everyone thinks of as the norm? Everyone thinks of them as the norm because they happen all the time and we hear them all the time. Wouldn't it be great if there was a body of music for brass that you could hear all the time? Guess what? It has been written, lots of it, for standard complements of sextet, septet, and more, and it's being written right now by composers who are really cool people who happen to be living among us. Here's my dream. The Modern Brass Project strives to create a high-quality recorded archive of the modern brass sextet literature to be available for enjoyment, for study, and for radio stations in order to be able to further our genre. My quintet, the Heritage Brass, will be joined by a top-profile brass performer for each phase of the project, this time by tubist Tony Clements of the San Jose Symphony. The first week of June, we'll record three modern sextets provided by three composers who endorse this project. I happen to be one of those three composers, so that makes it easy. What is occurring right now is a short public fundraising blitz to pay for phase one of this project. We'll rehearse and record June 3rd, 4th, and 6th, about eight hours total at the Church of Christ at Dartmouth. That's the Ivy League school where my quintet can usually be found in Hanover, New Hampshire. Just for us to do this for eight hours, it's going to cost $5,900. Can you help us do it? We also, if we could get even more than that, if people are very interested, we might be able to help fly Tony out and back with his instrument. And if we had even more interest than that, we might be able to record more pieces and keep this project going. So, what is the scope of this? I think this is a very large project. I think that to record this much literature could take a very long time, but the faster we do it, the faster we get this genre on the map. I would like to make this available for listening. I would like to make it available for study. I would like to make it available for radio stations. So we really get this genre on the map as a viable grouping of instruments, just like a string quartet that you think of all the time. What do you think? Can you help me do it? We have some great incentives if you'll give to us now. Tell all your brass loving friends. I hope you're as excited about this project as I am. The Modern Brass Project. Thank you very much.